everyone, what's happening? We're Stephen Gamer here, and I'm back with another special spotlight for you guys today we have a brand new hero that just dropped today there was an update going on so i'm pretty excited to bring you guys this update i'm really excited for this new hero i want to try him out i want to see what he's all about and uh before i do that i gotta actually get him because i don't have him in my account so we're gonna go ahead guys we're gonna make some pulls here and we're gonna cross our fingers and hope that we get this guy because uh, i really don't want to spend too many gems on him but let's go ahead let's try it out guys first temple what are my chances can i ever get somebody in my first temple what the fuck Ah! Yes! What the fuck? <laughs> Finally! First time ever I've able I've been able to pull a hero on my first temple. Holy hell! Aldred! Wow, Aldred looks awesome, guys. Look at this hero right here. This is incredible. You got a big old shield and a spear. Incredible. I'm loving this look. Wow, that's pretty cool, guys. That's very exciting right there, actually. First temple, huh? Mm, at this rate, I might just go ahead and four-star this guy, but I'm probably going to end up doing this on my live stream later today. Not right now. With... Right now, let's just get right into the spotlight, guys. Here we go. First things first. Let's get him to level 100. Bam, there we go, level 100 now, and here comes the fusions! Aldred, hmm, looks incredible. Will he perform incredibly? Don't know yet, I've not really seen anything about him just yet, guys, so let's go ahead, get him all the way up, and then we will go over his abilities and see what these abilities are about. And, um, you know, maybe we can make this guy work. Maybe we can go and make this guy work. If he's worth it, I'll four or five star him. If I don't see that he's worth it, I'll probably keep my three stars, depending on what it is. Now, I know that he's got an awakening already, so that's something to think about because I need to start a new awakening today too. So we'll see what I do with that. Not really sure. But we'll just see about that. So let's go ahead. Keep going here. Purple plus four. And here we go. Orange. Beautiful. Beautiful. And orange plus one. All right. And orange plus two. There we have it, boys. There he is. Orange plus two all maxed out. Let me give him all this goodies here. Yep. Let's give him everything. Okay. And that. And that. Bam! There it is! Orange plus two, maxed out. He's got some crazy spear skills. I wish I could do that, but I know I can't, so... The Great Protector. Mm. Now, let's go ahead, take a look at what this hero is all about. So, Frontline Tank. Aldrin carries a huge shield, which he uses to keep himself and his allies from harm. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Very nice. Okay, so let's break down his abilities, guys. As you can see, five abilities. He's got an awakening. So let's start with the ultimates, yo. Aldred releases a shockwave that cannot be dodged, dealing damage and stunning nearby enemies. The more damage Aldred has blocked with his other abilities, the more shockwaves his uh, ultimate releases. The more shockwaves he released, the longer the period that the enemies are stunned. All right. Not bad. That sounds actually pretty cool, but it's dependent on his other abilities. So we're going to have to break down his other abilities to see exactly what this does. But let's move on to uh, barricade mode here. So when Aldred slams his shield into the ground, it enters barricade mode. Nearby enemies will no longer be able to move or use their basic attacks. Whoa. When enemies in front of Aldred attack allies behind the shield, the damage is reduced by 10%. Oh, okay, wait a minute. When allies behind the shield attack enemies in front of the shield, damage is increased by 10%. Oh, what? That's pretty sweet. All right, barricade mode is uh, disabled when Aldred is affected by a control ability. Ooh, that sucks. And he must wait several seconds before uh, enabling it again. Hmm. All right, so there's a lot going on here, guys. So I'm gonna have to break this down for you a little bit better so essentially what this is saying guys is when he's puts his shield out and goes into this barricade mode enemies that attack somebody behind him so there's a lot of different enemies that do that so aoe damage um right now uh, adeline comes to mind this sucks for adeline because she only attacks heroes in the back so uh your heroes that are attack here anybody behind them is going to get reduced by 10 percent but your allies behind the shield that attack in front of the shield so your allies that attack so this is actually good this is good if you're using adeline because her attack is going to go up by 10 percent but if his adeline if your opponent has an adeline 
her attack is gonna go down by 10%. Alright, so that's what it's saying. That's pretty dope. I actually like that. That's a really, really nice ability there, guys. Uh, the only problem is, if he's affected by a crowd control ability, he has to wait several seconds, so that kind of sucks. But it seems like a pretty decent, really, really nice ability, though, to be honest. Now, let's go into Jabbing Spear. Pya! Use when barricade mode is enabled. Use a long spear to strike nearby enemies several times with the last knocking them back. Okay, seems all right. So he's going to have his shield down. He's going to start stabbing the shit out of people. Pya, pya, pya! And then the last one is going to send somebody backwards. Okay, seems nice. Just a basic DPS damage there. Fourth ability, human shield. Whoa, what the hell? This is long as hell. I can't even see it. All right, when the allied hero with the highest magic attack is targeted with a deadly amount of damage, Aldred leaps to the aid of his this ally. What? Protecting them from the damage when he leaps nearby enemies will be stunned. Aldred then continues to stay beside his ally, absorbing all the damage that they would have taken. However, Aldred is immune to control abilities and 50% of the damage. If Aldred is separated too far from this unit, he is uh, protecting. The protection will end. Aldred also cannot protect his allies if they are hit by any attack, which is instantly fatal. This ability can only use once. Wow! So this is a sick ability, guys. Wow. First of all, I... All of a sudden think this guy can single-handedly make a mage great again, alright? So I kind of, I'm sensing that Lilith is kind of going with, uh, some of these newer heroes are trying to break this physical mold, you know, the physical meta, because this guy right here is definitely, has something to do with that. So he's going to leap and protect your hero with the highest magic attack. So instead of them taking damage, it seems like he's the one that's going to be taking damage. Wow, he's going to stun when he leaps, and then he's going to stay by her side, or his side, for the majority of the battle, absorbing a lot of the damage. This just seems pretty cool, guys. This seems like a really, really sick ability here, and I can't wait to see this in action, but that looks very, very promising. Enhanced shield. When barricade mode is enabled, Eldred uh, generates more effective defensive shield, which is used for several seconds. While the enhanced shield is up, Eldred is immune to control effects. Wow! And the effectiveness of his shield is weakening enemy attacks. And strengthening allied attacks is increased. Enemy heroes cannot pass through the uh, enhanced shield. And some enemy projectiles will be deflected back at the enemy. Not including those fired as part of an ultimate. Oh my god. So this is also a way to stop a lot of these heroes that are jumping in the back. So see I knew this was where they were going. This guy could single handedly change the meta right here. When barricade mode is enabled, Eldred generates a more effective defensive shield, which is used for several seconds while the enhanced shield is up. So when this guy is awakened, he's immune to control effects and the effectiveness of his shield is weakening enemy attacks and strengthening your allies' attacks. Enemy heroes cannot pass through the enhanced shield, so nobody can get past the shield. <laughs> Yo, that seems incredible, guys. I am super excited about this guy right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just enhance some of these abilities a little bit at a time. Let's go to six on each of them, right? And then the only thing left to do now is we're going to go ahead and we're going to jump at in a campaign battle because I want to see this guy in action. I want to see how he performs, all right? So let's go. All right, guys. So here we are in the battle phase of the spotlight. Now, I want to break down his abilities here, and I'm going to slow down this uh, battle so you guys can actually see how they work one by one. He rushes into the battle right there. He's behind his shield, guys, and um, he starts off with the basic attack. Uh, first ability that he goes into is his second ability, which is the barricade mode, all right? Goes into barricade mode. Nearby enemies will no longer be able to move or use basic attacks. As you can see, Drago there, he's stunned already, so he will not be able to do anything. He can use his other abilities, but no basic attacks uh, for now. Now, this has a couple of other different things that it does. First of all, let's just uh, take a look at both of these because there's two different effects that this ability also has. When enemies in front of Eldred attack allies behind the shield, the damage is reduced by 10%, as we talked about earlier. So anybody in front of him that's going to be able to deal attack to anybody behind of him is going to be reduced by 10%. Now, I want to just show you guys a quick example here. As you can see, I've implemented Adeline in there um, so you guys can take a look. If Adeline is a great example for this case, guys, because if Adeline was there, she only deals damage to enemies 
the farthest in the battlefield so all of her attacks will be reduced by 10 percent when this ability is active which is actually a pretty cool ability when facing heroes like that now in the other ways when we flip it around here because it does the same exact effect the other way uh, when allies behind the shield attack enemies in front of the shield, their damage is increased by 10%. And I went on and you, I used uh, Adeline once again for you guys so you guys can kind of see. Because her abilities were great for or against them. It's kind of strange, but if you have her, she's going to attack your enemies behind all the way in the end. And all of her abilities are going to be maxed out at 10%. You know, extra 10%, which is pretty sick. So uh, there's a little bit of synergy right there and there's a ton of other heroes that you can use. Even Firehawk that I'm using here, his abilities, when he does his ultimate, a lot of his abilities are going to hit a lot of the back, you know, enemies. So they're all going to do uh, more damage. When you actually break it down, pretty much everybody in front of the shield, including Drago there, they're all going to get extra 10% damage, which is sick. Uh, and pretty much everybody in your team is going to take... 10% less damage so right there very nice ability barricade mode and barricade mode will be disabled when Aldred is uh, affected by control ability all right guys so that's how you stop that that's how you counter it now right away when he enters uh barricade mode his next ability his third ability is uh jabbing spear and it does exactly what it says he just pretty much jabs everybody with his spear and it does a good amount of damage first of all second of all enemies uh enemies that are strike with this ability get knocked back by the last final strike uh, now this reminds me a lot of a couple of different heroes if you really think about it this is exactly like Torrith. if you really think of Torrith ultimate it does a lot of different uh, jab spears and then one final uh, hit so if you think about Torrith, it's exactly like that and also a little bit like kong if you really think about kong's ultimate when he starts hitting everybody with his spear so this ability is pretty cool like those but those other abilities are ultimates and this is his third ability so that's actually pretty cool does good damage and a knockback ability that's jabbing spear and as you can see here it goes for a while and then boom normally it doesn't take this long to go but this is like i said it's slowed down so that's why it seems like it's taken a long time now let's break down the rest of his abilities here now he's going back into barricade mode because the time wore out. Don't forget guys, all these abilities are very, very low level right now. As you can see, they're only a level 6. So he's not as powerful, obviously, as he's going to be when he's maxed out. So for now, we're just taking a quick look at them and see what they do. But at this stage, they look pretty cool. Second wave here is going to start over the same wave as he did the first time. He's going to go into his barricade mode. Now let's wait for barricade mode. There he goes. Boom, barricade mode. Now, I will activate his ultimate here at this point. And his ultimate is got a lot of different things that we need to look at right now. So, let's just see real quick. So, ultimate ability releases a shockwave that cannot be dodged. And it stuns the enemies. Now, the more damage Aldred has received, has blocked with his uh, other abilities, the more shockwaves uh, this is going to release. And the more shockwaves it releases, the longer the period that the enemies are going to be stunned for. All right, now at this point, he has not blocked any damage at all, guys, because each wave starts over from zero. So he has not really blocked any any damage. But in a real arena battle, he's obviously going to be using all of his abilities and he's going to be blocking a good amount of damage. So this is going to be a lot more powerful in different situations. It's not powerful uh, right now in the campaign because, uh, like I said before, all of his abil abilities have not been utilized yet. But if you just break it down... It's, uh, uh, it's a DPS ability, it's going to deal damage, it's going to stun, and uh, the more damage that he can absorb with his shield, the more it's going to dish out. So eye for an eye, it does exactly what it says there. Now let's keep going with this ability here and let's see what it's going to do. It's very short right now, like I said, it's very low level, so you can't really look at it, but he's going to swing, he's going to pretty much take his shield and just swing everybody and hit them up. Now, let's go to stage number three and see what other abilities that we've missed so far because uh, that's only three abilities we've talked about and he's got two more abilities, including his uh, awakening, all right? So, first one, let's break down his fourth ability because this is a really, really good ability that we talked about and uh, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to take a look at this ability in a battle yet because... Well, it says it right there. When the allied hero with the highest magic attack is targeted with a deadly amount of damage. And uh, it's kind of hard to simulate a deadly amount of damage. So that pretty much says when they are about to die, 
Aldred is going to leap to their aid. So he's going to jump over there. He's going to protect them from, uh, from the damage. When he leaps there, he's going to stun the enemies. And then he will continue to stay there, protecting, absorbing all the damage. So this is where the ultimate comes in handy, guys. So this uh, ability, fourth ability and the ultimate are, you know, really, really kind of... They need each other because uh, the more damage that he can protect his ally with this ability, the more he's going to dish out with his ultimate. So he's going to stay there for a while, um, absorbing all the damage that your magic hero would have been taking. However, he will be immune to all control abilities, which is great. And he's only going to be taking away 50% of the damage, right? So he's not going to absorb all of it, but 50% of it he's going to absorb, which is decent enough. Uh, if Aldred is separate from... Alright, so if he separates from this magic hero that he's protecting, if this magic hero is one of the heroes that moves around a lot, or it gets sucked in by your opponents, or whatever is the case, this is going to go away. Alright, so that's kind of uh, the, the down part is you kind of have to cancel this ability with something that will surely kind of does that. She will drag a hero away. Um, I got to think of a bunch of different heroes that do that too. But you want this guy. I mean, you don't want him, but you kind of want him with heroes that don't jump around too much. Because all of his abilities will protect your heroes that stay behind them. They're not going to protect the heroes that are over him. As we saw with the barricade shield, everybody behind them gets reduced damage. So... He's kind of all about keeping the teams separate. He doesn't like uh, your opponent jumping on your side or your or your heroes jumping on their side, alright? And then finally, for this ability, guys, he cannot protect the hero if it's an instant fatal hit. So Volko has an instant fatal hit, so if it's an instant fatal hit, this is not going to work, alright? Just so you guys know. But there's only a few instant fatal hits, so um, overall, this is actually a pretty cool ability. And I actually can't wait to see this uh, in a real arena battle, because that's the best way to test this out. Now, I'm going to also break down his Awaken ability for now. We're going to talk about it a little bit, but I will break this down a little bit more when I actually awaken him. So when Barricade Mode is enabled, uh, Aldred generates a more effective defensive shield, which is used for several seconds. While the enhanced, the enhanced shield is up, Aldred is immune to control abilities, control effects, and the effectiveness of his shield is weakening enemy attacks and strengthening allied attacks is increased. Wow, that's pretty dope. Enemy heroes cannot pass through the enhanced shield and some enemies projectiles will be deflected back at the enemy. Alright guys, so this one is pretty much going to just... Once he awakens, it just says that the shield, his shield is going to become a lot, a lot better. Heroes will not be able to pass it. He's going to be able to deflect some damage. Uh, he will be immune to control abilities and... He's going to be weakening your opponent's attacks and strengthening your allies' attacks. So, a lot of different great effects when he awakens. I'll check that out more when I awaken him. But, um, just a quick look. I think it's actually pretty cool from what it sounds like, guys. And we'll test it out, you know, this out a little bit more. But, for now, that should be it for this battle and all his abilities. Alright guys, so that's pretty much going to do it for the new hero Aldred here. Uh, let me know what you guys think about his abilities. Uh, personally, I love them. I think they're actually really, really cool. They sound like a bunch of abilities that are going to be really useful in the arena. Nowhere else though, I don't see this guy being useful anywhere else. But for the arena, definitely a great hero to have. Uh, to counter pretty much everything, magic and physical, protects your mages. So there's a lot to love about this guy. I'm going to level him up a lot more. Obviously, I got to work on his abilities. You know a lot more here i'm going to enchant everything i gotta awaken him i got a lot of things to do and then be on the look i'll probably make more videos for this guy later on if you want to see him a little bit more make sure you guys check out this uh stream i'll be on tonight on twitch check me out on the weekends live we'll have a lot more fun then all right but for now i'm pretty much gonna get going and i will catch you guys on the next spotlight video till then have a good morning good afternoon and good night this new guy looks like he could be alric's older brother right